Okay, I just want to take a quick look at these Irwin vice grips. Uh, these are commonly referred to as the parrot style grip. Um, but personally, I've never seen them um, outside of more of like a channel lock configuration. And um, I recently stumbled upon them and I'm very excited to uh, be able to get the whole set. The 10 inch, the 7, and the 4. Um, you can see by comparison the 4 looks very small and my first thought was I'll never use it, I should return it. But then I started thinking about when I would actually probably use these and the first thing that comes to mind is um, broken bolts. You know, I'm trying to pull studs out, anything like that where um, maybe you can get it out with some sort of a stud puller tool, but if not, I think um, these might be a good second option. Obviously this is going to do a decent amount of damage to whatever it cinches down in on. And one thing to notice that I was a little surprised by is only the very outer portion here has teeth. Everything else is flat. Um, and it does have a single wire cutter on the bottom, just like standard, um, with a very um, flat anvil on the other side. Um, so you can see in the closed position um, it's really counting on holding on to whatever um, to hold that in place. There's barely any, um, as to compare to a standard uh, vice grip where there's going to be a decent amount on the actual tool. This really is going to be more for um, crushing. Now taking a look at the 10 inch, uh, you can see that this is definitely a little bit more beefy. And um, one thing that surprised me was just how well they can open. Uh, to be honest, I haven't bought a actual vice grip since they moved to the overseas manufacturing. And unlike uh, the standard ones that are made in China, these are actually made in Taiwan. And as you can see here, these are made in Taiwan. A little bit better idea of the design here on the large 10 inch. Uh, you can see that only uh, the very outermost has serrations. Everything else is flat on that. Um, and to me that means that when these are in the closed position, they really are going to be doing a decent amount of crushing. So if you are doing anything like on a hollow tube or anything, maybe exhaust work, um, it's really going to be putting all the pressure on whatever you're vicing down on and not on the outermost part, um, which is kind of contrary to what um, I think of a standard vice grip doing where it, it does apply a decent amount of force to the tool itself and allows you to basically get more movement um, with the tool where this is really placing it all on um, whatever item you're trying to move. There's one look there at all three of them um, side by side and you can really get an idea of how dwarfed that small four inch one is compared to the 10. Um, just like standard um, production vice grips, they do have the hex on the end. Um, looks like it was 3, 4, and 5 uh, metric for the hex. And construction wise, they all look to be the same. So I can't give this a recommendation yet. However, I'm excited to try these out and see what they can do for, um, again, I'm thinking mostly pulling broken fasteners and studs. Um, purchasing these on Amazon in early 2020 they cost about forty dollars for the set and i will probably update this depending on my experience thanks and stay tuned for more videos bye